it's Ashton. And it's John. What is up, guys? We're back with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting. I'm so upset right now. Why? It's just tangled around this, and that's just annoying. We're going to be reacting to. The Best of the Triggering with Steven Crowder, Milo, and Trigglypuff. 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 Um, this was a suggestion from. That's Wigglytuff. Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Jigglypuff. Both of them. Um, sure, no problem. This is a suggestion for sure, no problem. Hi guys, no. this is a funny compilation of a talk at UMASS. Oh, no. So, um, ass, um, ass, <laughs> UMASS. Anyway guys, you can also help support our channel, just like he did, click the link down below in the description. <laughs> um, donate $10, and then two to four days we'll react to video streamlabs.com slash Ashton Jones. And let's get you into the video. Oh, keep it in our 10 minutes, always include your email, and let's get into the video. I'll see how funny this is. Trump, oh god, it's hilarious already. The trigger. Conservative comedian and host of the popular podcast Louder with Crowder, Steven Crowder. Get behind that. Did you say you're not welcome here? It's his show, what? No, isn't it? Isn't that what he said? I don't know what the fuck it is. And finally, journalist and senior like... editor. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of, right? Mm -hmm. At Breitbart.com, Milo Yiannopoulos. I am too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. No That's a girl. Just go dancing. He's a chick. <laughs> what you got a problem no it's just that the, the thought of this video so far thank you all three for coming uh at this point uh we're gonna we're gonna invite the speakers to the top of the stage to uh have some opening remarks turn up the audio they're too quiet now start with Hello, everybody. Thank you for. Uh... <laughs> That's very strange. Please, thank you for your enthusiasm. Thank you for your enthusiasm. If we could get on with the show, thank you. Given how firmly I believe in affirmative action in my bedroom, that's a very strange allegation, madam. I've, um, I've taken some time out of my busy schedule, being fabulous, and doing my hair, to prepare a speech for you. Well, a few remarks, really. Feminism is cancer. Thank you very much. Oh, shit. Wow. I'm too sexy for your party. Too sexy for your party. <laughs> what do you think about that? Do you think that was lit? Do you think that was awesome? Or do you think that was bad? It was pretty, uh, pretty direct and short. Mm, you don't want to elaborate onto that. Well, you say to elaborate, you'd have to understand what elaborate means. And elaborate, how do you? How does one elaborate on well, something like that? How does a gay guy come up and say that feminine, fe, feminine, feminine? Nobody said he was gay. <sighs> okay. Well, he said that it was cancer. So I mean, that's pretty. Uh, that's like a step up, you know. We're making steps up the ladder. That's a step up. It's cancer. No. Like what was that. it before? <laughs> not like that. No, never mind. You're not. Never mind. You're thinking. Of, never mind. <laughs> I did mean it like that. Stop laughing at me. No, I think about it. It's just so funny, though. I'm not meaning it like that. You're irritating. It was I funny. I didn't mean it like that. Okay, that's fine if you didn't mean it like that. It sounded like it was funny. Because you don't care how I mean it. Instead, you just laugh at me and, how do you and mean just it? start the video and just, like, you. Never mind. Let's just finish this. You sure? Yep. Come on, just explain to it. No, because you made me feel awkward. Just let's go. Oh, man, come on. I'm in a funny mood. <sighs> or a drunk at mood. Both schools, at both schools, and students organized a safe space where they could flee if someone was panicked by my words. And during my talk, 30 women and a therapy dog fled to a safe space. <laughs> I triggered a dog. <laughs> I feel bad about that. No. <laughs> oh, Is that 
chick actually there? Or is this just a clip of her being thrown in there? I don't know, to be honest. I was just wondering that. See her? Do you see her? Is she there? No, wait, wait. Um. It's her, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. She's actually there. In 2015, She's big. there was She's clearly a, there. a conference in London of feminist leaders from all over uh, the, the Great Britain. <laughs> and the, the participants were advised not to I'm clap. done. They were told that clapping could be triggering trigger anxiety or pain in speakers. Instead, the, the, the conference attendees were told to use something called feminist jazz hands. Milo, can you demonstrate feminist yes, jazz can. hands? Yes, I can. I'm going to give you a demonstration of, of feminist jazz hands. Can I come up here because I need my hands? So that bitch is annoying. I know. Not her. The chick <laughs> in the audience. The chubby one. Oh shit! Calling her out straight. She's chubby. Madam, we're gonna get through this show whether you like it or not. <laughs> So to explain feminist jazz hands, um, I'll give you a few different variants because even the standard uh, jazz hands can be triggering for some. Um, now, now if you want to, if you want to add a little pizzazz to your jazz hands, you can upgrade them to pizzazz hands, which is a way that some feminists express their displeasure. There are, of course, for the lesbians in the audience, scissor fingers. And if you feel and if you feel particularly excited on a, on any given occasion, you can use sizzle fingers, um, which I like to do something like this. <laughs> what the fuck? Which is the tearing away of the old patriarchal superstructure and the replacement of it with whatever the fuck you guys believe in. Damn. I'm too sexy for your party. Today's millennials, you're going to have to decide. Is yours going to be the generation that stands by as your basic freedoms are stripped away? Where you, where you can't go to hear a speaker? I, my best guess is that the millennials, are, like every generation before them, they are going to rally. They're going to defend their liberties. And I already see signs of resistance. I just hope it's not too late. Thank you. Wait, where is she at? Did she, she disappear? Leave. She got kicked out? I think it's just so hard to see her because we're looking too closely. We need to really broaden the picture, you know, and take a look at it then to find her. <laughs> Quiet, no, I'm serious. Maybe you're just looking at this little point and you know, this back quality or something. That's gotta be the reason. Gotta be the reason. She is gone, though. Please, please. Yeah, she is. Her seat is empty. Just proud if you'd like to make your opening. <laughs> putting this on. Come on, let them know you love him. Let's hear it for Milo. Let him know you love him. How do you do, Jasmine? Let's hear it for Miss Summers. Let her know you love her. Wait, what did they do? I don't know. Time to listen up, you silly liberal fruitcakes. I came out here, I wanted to tell some jokes. Let's do some reality checks here. Do you have any idea, sir, how pathetic it must be to be you? These people wanted to come out and have a good time, hear a few jokes, some thoughtful discussion, but your head pops off the pillow in the morning with, oh, how can I be a professional victim today? Let me go in. Professional You're victim. You're fucking a white male. <laughs> and screw with their act just because, oh my God, your parents didn't tell you that your opinion wasn't worth that much. Look, look, they're confused. They're confused. You know why? Because I'm not your gender studies professor who has to cater to your trigger warning, microaggression, safe space bullshit. Yes. I didn't want to do this. I wanted to come out and tell a few jokes. You created this monster. We have to go. Ten more minutes of this. Let this reverberate. Let it be a life lesson. This monster right here that you're so afraid of, the face you see in your nightmares, was created by social justice warrior assholes like you. And now you have, and now you have this wonderful faggot. That's what happens. We okay? We good? Yeah, we can. Yeah, darling, you can call me what you like. Oh, okay, there we go. 
that's a like he's gay and that's a really good personality to have because it's like you get what he's doing right like he doesn't care he's not like a judgmental like he's gonna get fucking triggered by every little thing you know yep which is awesome it's like if you're gay you're gay like that's cool if you know what i mean like he's not getting offended by it absolutely crying out loud listen nobody here wants to hear your opinion that much and here's what's so crazy you couldn't wait five minutes unlike leftists we have an open panel and a QA and a session because we want an open idea. Oh, I'm a racist. There you go. That's a new one. Where'd you learn that one in Social Human Studies 101? Right next to the, right next to the giant, I don't know, wild boar. I couldn't see who said that. Yeah, that thing is bad shit. I think that one girl uh, got kicked what? out. If you I, think you're yeah, honest, maybe. you are one, okay? Did he just make a fat joke? Yeah, I did. No, it's okay, because I got some here, so screw you. I have a faggot pass and a fat pass today. <laughs> we wanted to come out here and tell a few jokes. We wanted to have a thoughtful discussion. We want an open conversation of ideas. You guys can't be grown adults enough to literally wait 10 minutes to the point where we open the floor. And unlike leftists, guess what? We don't try and ban you when your speakers come to school. We don't show up and protest and call them, oh, shut up, you just got owned and now you're trying to come back five minutes later. It's like George... <laughs> the jerk show up. That oh, guy. they're running out of you, that George Costanza, you awesome. androgynous little amoeba. <laughs> By the way, these opinions you're yelling out, they're not even your opinions. They're your opinions from your gender studies professor and the really reason you picked it was because you thought it was your best chance at getting laid. He just decided <laughs> to walk on in to try and pick up chick at the San Francisco retread pot smoking drum circle, only to realize that your very glance in the direction of a woman causes a barren womb. <laughs> oh, you think this is gonna get better? No, no. Okay, is he gonna check his privilege? That's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to come out here and give someone the finger, but it's because they walk out and this chick is just <laughs> so on a show like that, this is absurd. At least when you go back to like Christi- uh, Christina, sorry, Christina Hoff Summers days, self-professed Democrats, hippies, the retreads that you guys want to be, at least they thought they were fighting the system. They thought they were trying to create transparency. They really thought they were for free speech. You people are openly and completely against it. You're not fighting for free speech. You're not fighting for rights. You're fighting for the right to be a pussy and not hear opinions that you don't like. <laughs> hey, so actually I was going to ask about Chuck as well, um, because we just recently oh, no. had a discussion on this campus uh, about a week and a half ago, uh, where someone actually wrote Stop in Islam on one of the buildings which is really <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but for a minute there I thought he was wearing a dress, and I was like, Seriously? oh my god, what is this? <laughs> no, that's a, it's a tank top. I see Almost. that, I see that now. But. It's the only hard piece for it. And so, um, you, Milo, you said, uh, the best way to deal with people you don't agree with is to give them the full spotlight. And you, He's so quiet. Just, uh, you said, no intellectual diversity um, at an institution of higher education. And, sorry, I shouldn't be doing this fucking so fast, I can look at you. But, um. So my question for you is that, in light of you know Trump coming out and talking against Islam, uh, is rates again, rates of violence against Islam rising about 480 percent in this time period, higher than they were uh, after 9/11, which is amazing. They are higher than after 9/11. Um, we saw a lot of repercussions on this campus about a week ago, where some of my friends got beat up, where people got threatened uh, over the Stop Islam, and so I'm wondering where you guys think that opinions turn into hate speech and where that line should be drawn. Well, your, 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 your Muslim friends got beaten up because of chalk? Amazingly, one of my friends... <laughs> the way he words it. Because he dressed a certain way. He just changed the way he yeah. Well, listen, nobody would ever condone beating somebody up because they, they dress a certain way. By the way, sometimes when I say stuff, it's a joke, okay? We used to be able to make those. Um, listen, if people want to talk about stopping rape culture, in the time you just took to, to ask that question... There were probably a dozen women who were raped in the name of Islam in the Middle East right then. And there were tons of people killed. So listen, no one is condoning violence against Islam. I don't, obviously it's a silly litmus test as far as Donald Trump saying ban all Muslims. And it makes it hard for people like me who argue against the ideology of Islam. I think if you want to learn about the ideology of Islam, open the Quran, read five pages in any direction, and you will be... 
Yeah, we've had Muslims on my show. That's your okay? No, it's not my problem. It's my opinion. I don't like it. I, I didn't I speak on your behalf. I talked about the Quran. Guess what? I wasn't there for the French Revolution. I can talk about it. Everybody has a right. And let me if let people me are add, beating um, up Muslims, that's bad. The ideology of Islam has been bad for the me, last several me, decades, and it's not hate speech to say so. It's not racist. Let me, it's um, ideology in a prescribed form of religion and law, and I don't like it. Like any other set of ideas, uh, Islam is a set of ideas, and like any other set of ideas, it. Uh, this is it's very like engaging. I love this shit. Interrogate it and find it wanting. I personally find it wanting. I would also like to say, as a as a as a gay person. Um, I am fucking terrified by mass Muslim immigration because the homophobia in the Islamic community, in the Ummah, is not restricted to terrorists. It is not restricted to ISIS. 51% of British Muslims believe that gay sex should be against the law. This is not Muslims in Syria. This is not Muslims in Raqqa. This is Muslims who live three streets away from me. Every other one of them believes that I, my lifestyle should be illegal. 39% of British Muslims believe that a woman should always obey her husband. Where the fuck are feminists on that? 25%. <laughs> I'm not commenting 25 on that. No comment. This is too controversial for us guys. 25% of British Muslims believe that Sharia law should be instituted, which under certain circumstances treats a woman's... Milo, he's trying to narrow in on a question. Do well, we? I'm going to finish. Treats a woman's <laughs> uh, testimony is worth half of a man's. The queers for Palestine, possibly the stupidest people to walk the face of the earth. Overlook the statistic that 97% of Palestinians believe that homosexuality is an unacceptable lifestyle choice. I'm not scared by terrorists, I'm scared by Islam. Damn. Moving on to our next question here. Uh, uh, when, does when does free speech become hate speech is the basic question, right? Yeah, that's a silly question. Hate speech is a figment of your imagination. If someone says something you don't like, you don't get to label it hate speech. True. That's it. That may be true. Yes. Maybe. A call to action is not allowed. If I say, hey, I'm gonna punch you in the face, and I do it. That's not speech. That's an action. If someone says, "Gosh, it, it really, I really don't like your face," and it would be nice if it were punched, but I would never do it, is very different. People should be able to say what they want. If you don't like it, walk out, change the channel. Freedom of speech. I don't. We don't believe in hate speech. We answered your question. Leave. Who was beat up because of what I said? Your friend was beat up because of something that I said? That's what we call being unable to substantiate an argument, Mr. Tank Top. Get out. Okay, that ending is uh, very, very obnoxious. loud and obnoxious. Yes, blown out the... Uh, that audio was off incredibly, guys. That wasn't us. That audio was just... It's like, oh my god. Anyway, guys, um, there it is. Oh, it's not on me more. It's only on you, man. There we go. Because I'm the star of the motherfucking show. Um. Duh. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I do believe you should be able to say what you want, as long as it's not like, I'm going to kill you in your sleep tonight. Yeah. yeah. You know, threats are different. Threats, yeah. But there's a line between threats and But everybody and has a opinion, you know? Right. And people can't get worked up. I said, I that. wish I could kill you in your sleep tonight. That'd be different. Because you wish you could, but you're not saying you're gonna. Saying I'm gonna kill you, so you're directly stating that you are going to hurt that person. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ba break your legs with this baseball bat later on this evening in the parking lot. Is worse than I, mean, I hope you break a leg later this evening in the parking lot. <laughs> I've made death threats to you before. Yeah, you have. But we need I'm just to kidding. realize. I don't think I ever did. That if you say something, you, you got the ability to just ignore it. People comment on our shit very negatively all the time. So guys, if you don't like it, you don't gotta watch us. Come on, you know there's tons, there's millions of other YouTubers out there. And we just say, hey, it. you know, we ignore nothing. it. Yeah, if you don't people, like it. People come to our channel and they write on our stuff, and they say all these mean things, and we ignore it. We're the bigger people. I know. It's just like, why don't you just say, I don't like these guys. I'm just gonna not watch their stuff again and go to a different channel. Right. It's so easy when you go to the grocery store and you try. A certain type of cheese it, and you didn't like that cheese it. You don't do sit you there it? and do break it? it in the store and like sit there and tell the store manager these cheeses are so gross. What is your problem? No, you just say 
I'll try the cheese nips. No, I think I'll I, go to this. I think you should have said, "Do you yell at the cheese nips? You don't yell do at you, the cheese nips. Yes, yeah, good do point. Do you smash them? Do you do you abuse them? Do you try to kill them? Do you leave comments on the cheese bit on the cheese its for the store to read? Dear store, I do not like these cheese its. They are disgusting. They're gonna look at you, you like you're them. fucking stupid. Like, oh, even though bad. I was the one who bought them in the first place without knowing or questioning what they tasted like, and still have to judge them. In fact, you don't pay for this. You just click on it. So it's a lot different than even that. At least that, you'd have some money invested. This mm -hmm. is nothing. Anyway, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye, guys.